So for us, this project in this location is fabulous for very fast potential transactions, and we can see the immediately high-grade material. Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we deliver mining insights and bullion sales in the form of physical delivery, offshore depositories, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Welcome to Proven Improbable. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Joining us for a conversation is the president and CEO of Riverside Resources, Dr. John Mark Stoudy. How are you today, sir? Excellent. Down here in Mexico. Very excited about things going on. Delighted to have you on the show today, sir. Riverside has some intriguing news for now starting 2020 regarding high-grade gold coming from the company's Los Corrientes Gold Project in Sonora, Mexico. John Mark, before we discuss today's press release, for someone new to Riverside, please introduce the unique value proposition the company presents to the market. Riverside is an integrated prospect generator company. We have major alliances with some of the biggest mining companies. We expose the shareholder to multiple opportunities and multiple commodities with a limited risk. We really like this model. Let's visit Sonora State, Mexico, where you're on site, as I understand, having just returned from the field. John Mark, talk to us about the Los Corrientes Gold Mine. How did Riverside come up with such a project and acquire this location? We're really excited. We actually got this by optioning and then buying five projects from Mill Rock. And this was the centerpiece. We're able to get this 100% and get it. It's located immediately to the east of a major gold mine of Mercedes that's operated now by Premier Gold Mines. It is immediately to the west of the Los Cuarentas project, which is very exciting for Silvercrest that's been making big discoveries, moving ahead quickly toward development. It shows that there's mining right adjacent to us. So for us, this project in this location is fabulous for very fast potential transactions, and we can see the immediately high-grade material from the Los Cuarentas could feed into either Las Chispas or into Premier Gold Mines, Mercedes mining complexes. Now for early 2020, Riverside just released some impressive rock chip sampling results from the current field program that is looking to set up drill targeting. Dr. Stoudy, can you briefly summarize the Los Corrientes Gold Project and some of the key highlights from the recent sample program? You bet. Let's look at the photo and the map. As we can see, the location with Las Chispas immediately to the east and Mercedes immediately to the west makes Los Corrientes an ideal location, in fact, we're surrounded by various mines, really a good mining location. Let's zoom in to the next slide where we see some of the best results. These best results are excellent for us. Having 25 grams of gold, high grade gold from dump samples and having multiple samples of rock float, rock chip, all having high grade mineralization really makes it exciting for us at the project Los Corinthus. Consistency is paramount to achieve success and accelerate exploration efforts. How do the first set of results conducted by Riverside correspond with historic results on the Los Corrientes? The way they help us is, as you see here, with these high-grade samples is previously there's been mining here and we checked samples and followed up with what samples were before and they came up with similar values. So we feel very confident. In fact, if we look at a map here that shows the Riverside's historic work, and the Riverside's own work. On the right, you can see the explanation there. We have similar values along the structures here going multiple kilometer long, high grade mineralization, and particularly the Santa Rosalia target and the Santa Rosalia sewer target are very good for high grade mineralization right at the surface. John Mark, you referenced two target areas. Can we take a more in-depth look at both of them, please? You betcha. The first one we'll look at is Santa Rosalia, and then we'll look at the Santa Rosalia sewer. Here at a cross section of Santa Rosalia, we're looking to the east with north and south. As we look to the east, the fault zone here, what does have well, former underground mining, now we know is this vein system is a target. We can follow this target along strike here, well over a kilometer with very little uh, mining, high-grade mining in here, but no drilling. So we're very excited about the drill potential at the Santa Rosalia. If you go to the Santa Rosalia sewer immediately to the south, there's an old drill hole that didn't reach the actual target, and the target zone has wide intercepts of six 
8.8 grams, other gold mineralization right at the surface next to the vein structures that you see. So if you look at the map on the Santa Rosalia Sur, we have a long zone, again, a kilometer of mineralization. Our team's been working hard, very excited to have just got back from the field and now have this news results out for the Santa Rosalia Sur target, two of the top targets we have at the property. Dr. Stoudy, before we leave the Los Corrientes Gold Project, what can you share with us regarding the genetic model? The genetic model really fits for a dome complex. Here we see the dome breccia, epithermal low sulfidation vein systems, the veins following structures and shears, and particularly the shears around different fault zones show the typical of the upper levels of an epithermal gold system. We really like that type of model, and we really like the potential for this type of epithermal rhyolite complex. Switching gears, John Mark, what is the next unanswered question for Riverside? When can we expect an answer, and what will determine success? The next unanswered question at the Los Cuarentes project is, how big, how deep, and how far this can go? So the way we'll be doing that is with mapping and more sampling and getting the drill permit, which will lead to upcoming drilling. We're very excited by this project with the potential here. It's one that Riverside could drill ourselves. We do have interest from other parties. We really like the results here. It's a super good project. We're very excited by it. What would determine success is more high grade gram thicknesses. We know we have the mine on the east, the Los, Los, Los Chispas. On the west, we have the Mercedes. We know we have the potential for a mine here. That would really help us determine success. Before we close, John Mark, please provide us with an update on the capital structure. Riverside continues to have a tight share structure with 63 million shares out, no debt, over $3 million cash. We're in a great financial situation and a very focused share structure. Dr. Stoudy, for someone listening that wants to get more information on Riverside Resources, please share the contact details. Please visit our website at rivres.com or phone us at 778 327-6671. And as a reminder, Riverside Resources trades on the TSXV, symbol RRI, and on the OTCQB, symbol RVSDF. Before you make your next bullion purchase, make sure you call me. I'm a licensed representative for Miles Franklin Precious Metals Investments, where we provide a number of options to expand your precious metals portfolio. From physical delivery, offshore depositories, precious metal IRAs, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Call me directly at 855-505-1900, or you may email maurice at milesfranklin.com. Finally, we invite you to subscribe to provenandprobable.com, where we provide mining insights and bullion sales. Riverside Resources is a sponsor of Proven and Probable, and we are proud shareholders for the virtues conveyed in today's message. Dr. John Mark Stoudy of Riverside Resources, thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.